Hello and welcome to the Code Rage 9. My name is Denis Zubov. I'm one of the fast report developers. Today we will speak about how you can get your reports works on mobile devices. We will not speak about fast report FMX. We will speak about fast report 5 VCL Enterprise how you can build a web service and use it on different platforms from different devices. This video starts from introduction of fast report enterprise components. I will speak a little bit about what is fast report enterprise components is. Later we will build a small server application using fast report components run this server application configure it and use it as web service from different devices from desktop browser from mobile browser and in last part we will try to build a small application which looks native for mobile devices it's use a uh, tab browser components it allow you to connect directly to fast report server and show reports on android device fast report enterprise based on client server technology and it give you ability to interact between server and client application so it will give you some advantage of using this technology like low hardware requirements for client so that's why you can use and view reports for mobile devices it can reduce off network traffic because you don't need to connect to database and query unnecessary data also this system is simple for management but also this technology has some disadvantage because your application is not native, it's just a web service. You need to use high hardware requirements for your server. And of course it's not easy to develop and support client server application. But in this video I will show you how you can easily do it with fast support enterprise components. It's not that hard to do it. So fast report enterprise edition contains few components is there are tfrix report server tfrix report client tfrix server connection and tfrix http client we will use only tfrix report server because we will build a server application based on windows platform we will not build Windows client we just use a web browser and we will use a mobile application created on FMX platform now when you have some information about fast report enterprise components we will move and create our first server application we are ready to make our first server application we need to create new VCL form application and look for fast report 5 clean server tab for fast report enterprise component we need a fix report server component as you can see it has not so many properties but most important of these properties of course is config file name because here you can specify config file which contain all necessary settings for the report server also we need tfrix report component tfrix designer because we want to call designer from this application and we need some components for which use it in inside the reports we need chart component and tfrx ADO component 
also we place some export filters we will use most used of the export filters that will be enough now we can hide all this component because we want to design our form later now we must set database connection we will use ADO component we will create a new TFRX ADO connection and call it server database and save our project to the new folder we'll call it FRX server this is need for config files because we need place to put our config files where server located so we have config file where all server properties locate like port timeouts path to all HTML documents generated by server side like index files or reports files template part contains all HTML templates for reports report engine settings contain paths to report template ability to set file caching and another engine properties also we can set properties for export filters but for this moment we need make sure our database is properly configured as we use ADO database we using JET provider so as we can see it's set correctly so we return to our application connect our database to fast report ADO components and we need to set connection string to our ADO database as we saw before it store it in config file so we need to do it in from code we will use form create event server database connection string to access config file we need to specify another fast report model it contains global object of fast report config file it calls fast report server config so now we can use server config object and read config file directly from application we need to call jet value method and we need to see what values we need to get also it's defined in config file we need database connection string and if we move up we see that it's all located in server node so we need to use server database connection string now we want to open our database so now we need to put few buttons for to start report server to stop report server and of course for run report designer this will be start server button button for report designer and another button for stop report server we need to change button captions stop server design report 
and start server. Now we can use this button to start our server. First we need to check that our connection is set and active. After that we can run our server. We check connected property of the database. And now we need to call FRX report server and open method. This method will run report server component and refrix report server close to stop our server. For report designing we will use FRX report design report. So that will be enough for simply run our server but before that we need to copy our server files as I said I already prepared some files htdocs this index page of the report server some setting for top page for bottom for server statistic and so on also report files stored in reports folder Templates folder contains or templates like list of reports and toolbar settings. Allow config and deny config. Use it to store IP addresses of users. So we need to copy all these files to a project folder. You can find these files in fast report demo. You don't need to create another files. We change output path to main project folder because we copy all files to this folder. Now we can try to run our designer. We have some errors that server cannot create some folders. Let's take a look what folders it can it can create. We can scroll down it. As we can see we have log settings, it's log folders and cache folder. So we need to create these two folders in our application folder. Also I set login prompt to false. Don't want to see login message every time. Now we can run our server site. It's Windows Firewall asking us to allow or deny of server. Now we can connect to localhost and see that our server is running. We can change the main page of the server as I mentioned before. Let's put some text here. can go back to web browser update and we see that settings was pick it up also we, if we want to change report list we can go to templates folder and look for list began html set for example bold border to 1 you see it's also was changed so now we can try to open it, open some report so you can export print refresh report navigate and so on you now stopping our server and want to make some status in this form because we don't actually see that rep report server is running so I will put a label 
an output server status in this label. Change the label name. Now we want to output some additional information about server, like some statistic for sessions and for reports. Let's make another label. It will be total label, total session label, and to output our information, we will use a date. It will be total session edit box. We will set read only property. Now we can copy this to controls and use it for another output. We need just four. The second one will be for total reports output. Total report edit. Current session count. current session count edit box current reports and current reports edit box now we want to set text of edit box to zero and change captions in labels this will be total sessions total reports current sessions and current reports Now, to update this information, we will need to use a timer. So, we will put a timer component on the form. We will use update every one second. But now we can set some status information about server. We change server status list label to cannot connect to database if we fail to connect to our database. Also, I'm going to define one constant for status info. It will be server status. Now we can set status when our database is connected. Also, when application is running, our server is not running actually, so we need to hide stop server button. And when server start, we want to check if server actually started and if it is we disable server start button and we enable server start button that user actually knows that he can stop the report server. Now we can change status in our label that server is running. Now we want to check 
server condition in our timer and output some information about it. So we need on timer event. Using the same code as before. And if server is stopped, we need to show start server button and say that our server is stopped. Now we want to output some statistic about server. For this we need another fast report model because statistic information defined in this model we need to include FRX server statistic. Now we can use server statistic variable and output some information about your statistic to our edit boxes. This will be for total session count server statistic and total session count we need to do the same for others edit boxes it will be for report total count this one will be for current session count And for the report session, a report count, for the current report count, now we make our simple server application. So we can try to run it. And we can actually run our server. Going to browser and have a look that our server is running. As you can see, we can use report with dialogs in fast report server. It's of course it's only a basic dialogs, but it's enough to give you the ability to pass parameter to reports. Now, as you can see, we have update of our statistic. We can stop a server. We need to do another improvement in our server application. Now, for to design report, we need to set report template part we will use FRX designer component and set open dear property and use part of the application and get folder name from the config we will need to call server config get value method this folder name located in server reports part it's relative part for the report template so we need to remove first two symbols from this name Now, after we edit our report, we need to update list of the server templates. So, we need to call FRX report server close and FRX report server open. So, basically, we need to reopen fast report server. Now, we can run our server again.
you can see the statistic page of the server it's the same as statistic on our form now we can open memos and pictures report and we want to change this report we call the designer from on the server side open memo pictures report change some text properties save this report and refresh it as you see the report is changed fast report server update report list and rebuild this report now we can actually take a look how it looks from the mobile devices I'm going to connect my Android device from my desktop using QNC server. Now we can connect to our server. It's located in local network, so I'm using IP address for this. We can see the same title page. and the same report we can navigate on this report basically do the same thing at desktop browser also we can export our report for example to PDF format Let's open it. We see the same report but in PDF format. So how you can see the report server components it's a small step forward to cross-platform report developing so basically you need to only to run the report server and you connect from any device which allow you to view HTML and has a web browser but unfortunately this application doesn't look native on mobile platform you can see address bar with an IP address here so what to do if we don't want to show it to our customers on mobile device as well in this case we can make uh, another application using fmx framework so what do we need for our fmx application first of all it will be uh, something like a web browser because we need to UR HTML pages. FMX framework already have component for this. It's located on internet tab. We need a tab web browser component. And we need a few toolbars as well. One on the top of screen and second at the bottom client Align for our web browser so we need a few buttons this one will be for report list we can set a style lockup for this one and another to refresh report I set Align to left and for this one as well now we can select new lookup style for this button now at the bottom of our screen we have two buttons our page forward or backward 
need a lignit to left style lookup and this one and copy this button send the style to right and change button style so we have a basic form now we need to do some initialization on our form first of all we need a variable where we can store a URL of server let's make a new variable for it so we need new string variable and one for the server name we can initialize this variable on form create event so f server i'm using a local network so it will be ap address so let's see what we can get with it i will just pass our server URL to web browser component and call web browser navigate method. Let me connect to my Android device using VNC server. So we got it connected. Now we can try to run our application just to check if it works. So it works, but we need to set the browser caching to false because as you see it cached page of original fast report server example enable caching fails. We can do it in initialization for form so you can see the same page as in HTML browser but first of all I don't want a user to see this main page with a list of reports because it looks not native it still looks like a website and if we open another an, a report we can see that we still have a toolbar so I want to hide it as well let's get back to our code so first thing we want to do is get list of the reports available on the server past report server allow you to do that we need to make a get quest from web browser and get a list of the available reports on the server side for this we can use another component http request from web services step but first because we need to show our report list somewhere we need to create another form in our application this form will contain only the list box and we need to one property on this form to add one property it will be used to store selected index of the list box get it name f selected make it as public property Now in form create we set this field to zero and in on change list box event we need to pass selected item item 
index and close this form. So this is basically what do we need to do. I will save a new application. We don't need this form anymore. We will use it from here. So we need to include this form unit. Well, now we need to get our report list by using HTTP request component. So for this we need another two variables. One will be for memory stream memory stream and one will be global for this form let's call it f ester list it will contain list of our reports it will be test string we need to create this list in on form create event and destroy it later when form destroy it as well now we can use this list and we can use a HTTP request component so basically we need to set URL for this component server and need to call our variable to get our list get variable request with server reports list so now it will return uh, to us list of the reports need to use HTTP request jet method and pass it our memory stream which we need to create above now we need to use our f our string list and load from memory so this string list contains not only the reports names but first it will be a report name without extension second will be the same report with relative part and extension and the third will be the report description so we need to sort it out to add in list only items so we need a cycle here here we will use a uh, form 2. We need to clear list box and use a cycle for a sterile list count attempts. Now we need to add only reports names. As I said, every reports list contains three attempts, so we can do something like this to get only items we need. We will fill our list box only with our report names without extensions. We need items add and we need F S T R list. So now also we need to know when our form is closed to update our report, so we need to use on close event here so we need to declare a event and I think to form 2 and after that we can show our form now in on close event we need to update our, our URL of the report. Not greater than count of items in our list. Now we can async our FURL 
variable we need to use f server it stores server name plus and here we need to set a parameter for fast report server result report and we need to pass report name here it will be a store list form to select that in term but as report list is not a report name with extension it's not a first item we need to make some offset for it now as I said before we want to hide our toolbars native toolbars which are available on web report so we can pass another parameter to fast report server and say to disable page navigation now we can async URL to a web browser and update it for update we will use this button all it will do if com it compares web browser URL call navigate method event here now we can get a list of items of reports we can pass it to report server we can select it let's have a look how it actually works on mobile device we can run our application now we can see how it actually works we can see that we get a list of reports this is our second form we can choose something and as you can see we don't have a um, toolbar anymore so a user actually don't know that it's not a native application it's just a web browser all we need to do is uh, realize another function it's to move pages of the report let's back to our code we need another variable number of page we will decrease number here but only if page number is greater than one and here we need to update web browser URL we need to use f URL which was generated before and add one new parameter it calls page range and we need to pass it each number we want to see and call web browser navigate method here we need to increase our page count and also set web browser URL and pass page range and page number and call navigate method as well here we need to set fn page to 1 because we selected the report here now we can go back to Android device we can choose a report for example parameters okay we can choose another report we can change our pages so user actually don't know that 
it can be just um, an HTML page. It's a cheap way to make your fast report ap server application looks native, not just in web browser, but like an application itself. Can you refresh report? Choose another report. Change pages. So, as you can see, it looks very native. <laughs> user didn't don't see any parameters don't see the web browser don't see address toolbar and so on so that's how you can make uh, your application looks natively when using fast report server that's all I want to show you in this video we have learned it how to build a simplest server report and how to build something like a native application using FireMonkey framework so now you can get closer to mobile platform and give you user ability to view some reports you made in fast report thank you for watching this video i hope you learned something new from it and you find it interesting so if you have any questions i will be here to answer them thank you james asked is there any ability to use encryption https with the server to protect the data and any credentials No, at this moment, no, not. Okay. Um, and is is this shipping technology, or is this an upcoming release? M meaning, if developers have fast report today, which version and and how to get it. Yes, it's uh, shipping technology, yeah. So for development, they need fast reports, is that right, in the components? And then for deployment, they need the server, or is it all in the same product? Yes, you need a fast report enterprise edition to build a server application. Okay, so it's the enterprise. But for client, client, you can, can use, use, use uh, web, web browser, browser or Android, Android devices. devices. Okay, so on the mobile device, either any browser, I guess you can build um, C++ Builder app, mobile application that had the web browser component built. In yeah, and I show it in this presentation, how you can do it. Yep. So if, if your users, if the users of people who build these things uh, don't want to install an app, they can just use their Safari or Chrome or whatever, right? Yeah. Excellent. Uh, good options. If you have other questions for, for the Fast Report team, anything about Fast Report at all or, uh, or anything in this presentation, just use the question area. I'm also bringing up the screen just to remind people that one of the promotion items for XZ7 customers is FastCube for the VCL version 2. Can you tell people a little more about FastCube? Yeah. Yes, uh, FastCube uh, is a tool, also reporting tool, but uh, OLAP. Uh, for uh, end users who don't need to learn uh, report designer but uh, want uh, to rotate reports or rotate uh, data just now. Anyway, all the customers of XE7 uh, can uh, can use it because it's uh, internal. Excellent. So I just wanted to mention that to everyone. Okay, Dennis and Michael, thank you very much.
for joining us.